tonight we are giving you a sneak peek at what you can expect at this year's BET Honors airing February 1st. My next guest is an entertainment legend who saluted Queen Latifah during the BET Honors. Let's take a look. even begin to tell you the emotions that I'm dealing with right now to have you sit on this sofa across from me because you've put some words in my spirit and the stuff you fed my soul baby I am so appreciative and grateful and humble in your presence so all of that applause you deserve every <laughs> drop of that. every drop of that now you didn't sung. Look at it. Okay, I guess we have to start talking, huh? We got to start talking, Miss Patty. We got to talk. Okay. Now, oh. you get the call. Oh gosh. To salute mm -hmm. our sister, Miss Queen Latifah. Yeah. What was that phone call like? It was cute. It was so nice. <laughs> First of all, to be doing something for the BET Honors. You know, it's like five people, I think, that were honored that night. So with Queen Latifah, Dana, um, I was asked to do it, and I could do it. And I was honored to do it. And, you know, she's an awesome woman. And, oh, girl, I'm happy for Dana, and I'm happy for you. And I'm just really twisted right now. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And plus, I have on these baby shoes. And you know, I don't play baby shoe until, you know, I have to uh, kick off my shoe mm -hmm. on stage. But see, oh, you're looking at the toe polish. But I'm looking at the cut. That heifer cut me at the, uh, um, at the pedi pedicure. Did she call her heifer? She... That's why we love Mama Patty, baby. She said, that heifer didn't cut me at the start. That's why we love you. She cut me, so these are the pumps that I bought to wear. But I have to hop around now in little baby shoes. But they look fabulous, but It's okay, mama. right? Because they on Patty LaBelle's here's, feet. Here's you can come on right here barefoot. 
see that? It, you can. It, it's all right, sugar. She ain't really do no damage. Okay. Yeah, she ain't really. <laughs> okay. And y'all know she will, so don't do that. Oh. Don't do it. Now, yeah. real quick, we got to talk about Teddy, because I know he's watching us. Oh, I know he's watching he, us. He's he looking down on us, and he pulled a trick on us. I know. See, the last time we was all together, mm -hmm. Teddy pulled a trick, and I told him, Teddy, I'm going to tell the world what you did to us. <laughs> Teddy uh, called. For, I thought I was the only one that got tricked. Hey, uh, baby, listen, I need you to come to this little function. That's what he said. This little function that I'm having with a couple right. people. Teddy, I'm on my way, baby. Don't, you ain't got to say okay. nothing. I am there. When I get there, it is 3,000 people <laughs> there. So when Aunt Patty comes out, she says, Teddy, you told me the same thing. Trickery. He Trickery. Did. But what a good trick. What a good trick. Wasn't With it? Teddy Pendergrass and that long uh. relationship in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Tell us the man that he was. Well, he was, he was my brother. I mean, he protected me. It was like when he was walking, um, it was like he was protecting me from men and stuff, like bad guys. And even in the chair, he was protecting me. I said, Teddy, it's okay. I want that one. <laughs> I, I got this. Okay? <laughs> so he was like, he and Kenny Gamble were, were the same way with me. It's like, they're protecting Patty for what? I got this. But he was an awesome husband. I spoke to his wife yesterday, Joan, and his mother is still standing strong. And um, the family's fine, his kids, um, everybody's okay. But it's like, we have to say goodbye now. And he was a wonderful person when he was here. Yes. You know, in the chair, out of the chair. He had women crazy. <laughs> Baby, crazy. They was throwing their panties up on the stage. Right? I'm like, you are filthy. But they hey. love Teddy Pendergrass. But I, I got to tell you, before oh. we go to this break, I'm sorry. Just like Teddy was protective over you, uh -huh. we all feel that same sense from you because you're very protective over your girls, as you call us. Now, at 17, I saw you perform, and people always ask me, why do you hug? Why do you hug people like that after every show? I watched this woman in Washington, D.C., at 17 years old, when she was done her concert, I watched her hug every single person in that line, and she spent as much time as that person needed. I was floored. So I said if I ever got in a business, I would take Patti LaBelle's lessons, and I would hug every person Aww. that wanted a hug. So for all the applause, all the awards, all the rewards, mama, you earned that. And we love you for it. Y'all let her hear Patty LaBelle. Don't go nowhere after this break. We will spend more time with our very own entertainment legend, Miss Patty LaBelle, baby.